Okay, uh, jumping back in here. This will be 10-3, crossbred guilt. Uh, right to me, next contestant in game. Um, we're just sitting here talking with uh, Isaac and, and Miles. We've 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 uh, bred this sow to to ride with me, and uh, I think these sows are going to be generators. But we got uh, three or four gilts here. I think we're we're real high on uh, the kind we really don't like selling, honestly. Um, and just in terms of how they're put together and the things we're trying to do. Um, but 10-3 uh, uh, crossbred gilt ride with me. Next contestant in game. Man. Again, I mean, just list and in order, and we're going to get asked, I mean, what, what was your favorites and what was your favorites? Whenever they keep making them like this, I mean, I, I just think that it's just going to be about how you want to feed them uh, outside of a guilt that's built like this. I mean, if you're just simply put uh, one of those, it's like, hey, I just want to put them on feed and, and I don't want to have to do a lot to them, uh, then, then she's that. I mean, but she's just got all them bells and whistles and she's got the look, she's got the presence. Great big back, great big bodied square, uh, but still green in the right areas. I mean, she is uh, just one of those that in person, whenever you're in here and with her, uh, and she comes in, and, and Isaac just immediately pointed her out and said, I like that one. She's just that kind. I mean, it's that one passes you uh, back in the back, and you're like, dang it, I wish I owned that guilt. Uh, and then she hits the show ring, and, and she gets her a big banner. Uh, and if you're trying to figure out how to gather one up for a sow, then you figure out how much money you got in the bank account and what buddy could go along with you to do it. Uh, and, uh, you know, just wanted to try to simply win a show. Uh, she's got that. I could talk about that thing all day. Yeah, this is all good. I just wrote down big ring pieces. Uh, man, she's extra in some areas and looks like a breeding female. Uh, you know, we've drove some of these in that we've talked about, uh, you know, proportions and being moderate and being chunky and – uh, all those things that, to me, this thing screams brood sow. Uh, study the length of her hip. Uh, this might be the longest hip tog you guys have drove yep. in all day. Uh, and I think it correlates back into just her rear leg posture and the depth of her heel. Uh, that hog's ability to go behind and where her hock sits in relation to her pin set and the way her upper hip uh, ties into the backside of just her loin. Um, she is unbelievable in the way she's built through the rear third of her body, and she's not small. Uh, this hog is big in terms of stature. She's big in terms of scale and size. And to me, this thing just looks like a breeding female. Uh, and the kind of guy could build around, like he said, uh, we don't like to let go of these kind. Uh, who would? Uh, why would you? Because uh, this is one of those you don't always get the opportunity to get out of here. And she's been a little bit of a butthead uh, as we get to video. And But I promise you, if you come through these things or even get a hold of me or Miles or uh, anybody on the crew, uh, this is one of those things that if you're looking for a breeding female, one to build around or one to just swing hard, Hard, uh, in the breeding ring uh, this one here probably needs to have a little star next to her and you at least need to look in and get serious because uh, she does some neat things